Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verse is coming from Isaiah chapter 14 verses 12 through 15. They read as follows. How you have fallen from heaven, morning star, son of the dawn. You have been cast down to the earth. You who once laid low the nations, you said in your heart, I will ascend to the heavens. I will raise my throne above the stars of God. I will sit enthroned on the Mount of Assembly, on the utmost heights of Mount Zaphon. I will ascend above the tops of the clouds. I will make myself like the Most High. But you are brought down to the realm of the dead, to the depths of the pit. This scripture is a prophecy of Isaiah that scholars have debated. While topically it does refer to the fall of the king of Babylon, scholars believe it also refers to the fall of Lucifer, which is translated morning star when he falls from being one of God's angels to outer darkness, becoming the devil, becoming the enemy. Jesus says in the book of Luke that he saw Satan fall like lightning. But I want you to see something important in our verse today that we could almost miss if we don't pay attention. We read, you said in your heart. And what do we read that is said? I will ascend, I will raise my throne, I will ascend above, I will raise myself, I will sit enthroned above, I will make myself, I, 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 I. And whether this is Lucifer or the king of Babylon or honestly, most likely both, what is being said, what we need to pay attention to is that this is not good. And it shows us that we need to be very careful in what we are saying to ourselves. The enemy's sin was pride. It was thinking more highly of himself than he ought to. It was thinking that he didn't need God, that he was above God, that he wanted to raise his throne above the Lord's. We need to pay attention to what we are saying to ourselves. We need to pay attention to that internal voice, to what we are saying in our hearts. And we especially need to pay attention to what the enemy is trying to tell us and not let that get in our hearts. And speaking to ourselves in prideful ways is of course the last thing we want to do. We don't want to think too highly of ourselves. We don't want to think our greatness or our success or our accolades or the praise from others is about us, that we are so great that we deserve it, that we've pulled ourselves up by our own bootstraps, that we have everything because we have done it. No, scripture says that every good and perfect gift comes from the Father of lights. It all comes from him. We are literally nothing without him, not a breath we can take without him, not a thing we can do, not a thought. We owe it all to him. We most certainly don't want to think prideful thoughts. God gets all the glory. But do you know what? When we say things and think in our heart that things that are less than what God says about us, we are sinning against God too. We are formed and fashioned by the Lord himself. We have been made in the image of Almighty God. So when we think things that are down about ourselves, when we let our insecurities get the best of us and tell that tell us that we are no good, that we can't do anything right, that no one will ever like us, that we are not pretty, that we are not smart, that we are not good, when we compare ourselves to other people, we are actually sinning against the Lord because God says, you are good. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are made in my image. You are good and I like you. What we should be saying about ourselves is what God says about us. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. We are made in the image of Almighty God. We have the breath of God, the breath of life inside of us. We are the apple of God's eye. We have his love, his joy, his peace, patience, goodness, faithfulness, kindness, gentleness, and self-control living on the inside of us. We are the righteousness of God. In a way, we have three voices trying to get our attention. God's, ours, and the enemy. God's voice is a voice of love and acceptance and help and correction in loving ways. It's a voice that makes us want to come up higher, that makes us happy and joyful and peaceful. It's a voice that gives us guidance and direction and warning to protect us. It's a voice of love. The enemy's voice is a voice of pride, of insecurity, of low self-esteem. It's a voice that puts you down, that tells you what you're not, what you'll never be. It's a voice that is constantly trying to destroy your image and God and destroy you. Our voice gets to decide between the two, gets to decide what we believe, what we focus on, and let us focus on God's voice 
Of course, let us focus on what he says about us, how much he loves us, what he's put inside of us so that we can absolutely live this life that he's given us to his glory, in his image, for his glory. In Jesus' name, let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you that we are made in your image. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that we are made in the image of Almighty God, not for our glory, not for us, Lord, but to give you glory. We rebuke pride and insecurity, and we thank you, God, that we are fearfully and wonderfully made, and we get to live and honor you in that, in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. God bless you. God loves you so much. I love you guys. I thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I will see you next time. Have a great day.